name is Mr. Benyon. Uh, I'm a drama teacher here at John Cleveland College. And what's your vision? Uh, my vision is uh, my vision is to have an evening of a mixture of like year 10, year 11 drama, year 12 and year 13 theatre studies, and then also some singing, a bit of dancing, and just kind of bringing all of that together in a big mushy mess. What did you decide to do? Why did you decide to do Christmas? Uh, well, a couple of years ago, we did something called a Kenyan Christmas Cracker, which was very similar to what we're doing now, and it's like a mixture of like mostly drama pieces, and it was so successful, and the kids loved it so much that we decided to do it again. It's as simple as that, really. What do you think the kids are going to get out of it? Um, I think the kids are going to get a lot out of it in terms of like, it's that's a good question because I think like I remember a lot of stuff from being a, a school age student. But the one thing I remember really clearly is the productions and the performances that I was involved in. I couldn't tell you what I did like in a maths lesson, my like period two on a random Wednesday of my year, year 11. But I could tell you exactly what I was doing in terms of like school plays and stuff. So I think it's a bit cheesy, but I think they're going to get memories. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful memories. Okay, what's your name? My name's Catherine. And what are you, what's your group doing? Uh, we're doing a piece on Ask FM. Basically it revolves around a girl who's called Ella and basically we must start spreading about her after a party that she's had sex with this guy who she didn't have sex with. And um, well, Mr. Benjamin wanted to end in suicide but without actually showing it. Okay, that's what we're working. It's quite deep then. It's got funny aspects as well, I'm not just making it dark, deep, pre depressing and everyone's going to cry. Why did you want to take part in it? Well, I've done the past two like, Christmas shows with like Mr. Benjamin, so it's kind of carried on the tradition of starting. And did you enjoy it last year? Yeah. Are you enjoying it this year? Yeah. Would you recommend it to anybody? Um, yeah, if, if, you, if you enjoy doing that type of stuff, then yeah. Why do you enjoy drama? Um, it's just a place where you don't have to be yourself, so you can basically be anyone that you are. So what's your name? Katie. Tell us an interesting fact about yourself. Um, I love gaming. So what's your scene about in the production? Um, it's a true story, like, uh, changed for theatrical purposes, um, about my friends and how they broke up through the internet and what happened afterwards. Have you done anything like this before? Uh, yeah, I've always been in like drama club. I, I like drama and stuff, so. Okay. So what's your name? My name's George Barton. Tell us something interesting about yourself. Um, I'm about to be in the production of Miss Saigon and I am listening for the role of John. So what is your role within this production? I'm a narrator alongside Mitch. Yeah, pretty much. We're here to stitch all the pieces together and yeah, make it funny in between. So, have you done anything like this before? Um, in past pieces I have probably, when I've like done things for year 11 and year 10, I've about to be narrating them, so similar things. Why did you choose to do it? Because um, it allows me to do drama outside school and helps me to mentor the attendant levels. So, do you, why do you enjoy drama? Because it's something I've always been passionate about, gives me new skills, lets me develop as a person, lets me develop my acting skills and chase my passion for me in that. Would you recommend being involved? Without a doubt, hundred percent. All the open events, I always say, if you haven't been involved in drama, you haven't been involved. So, what do you hope to get out of it? I don't think there's much I can get out of it that I've already got out of it. I what think have you got out of it? Though? I've grown as a person, got communication skills, skills I've carried through to different subjects and things like that. So. What's your name? Andrew Weston. What's your role in your scene? What? Uh, in our production. Yeah. Uh, my role is uh, one of the internet phone nerds. Um, uh, yeah, just one of the internet phone nerds, just saying how cool my phone is. So why do you enjoy drama? Because it's a way of expressing yourself. Um, yeah, it just takes you away from the real world and makes you another person. That's kind of like what I like to do. Would you recommend it to anyone? Yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone who's possibly thinking of maybe giving it a go or you know stuff, uh, people like that. Uh, people who, even if you have stage fright, because I used to have stage fright, uh, you should get up there and try it. So what's your name? I'm Leah. Tell us an interesting fact about yourself. I played the triangle. <laughs> That's interesting. 
<laughs> What's your production then, Lexi? Um, we're doing um, about internet trolling. Um, so um, we're taking um, a boy and seeing how um, the internet troll developed. So have you done anything like this before? Um, no, not really. No. Do you enjoy drama? Yeah, um, because like you, you can be whoever you want and you don't have to, like no one cares if you're like rolling around on the floor or, or anything. It's fine. Would you recommend it to me? Yeah, I mean I have tried like I have recommended it to people. It's probably why there's so many people here this time. Would what do you hope to get out of it? Um, I hope to get out some like more confidence uh, on stage and be able to like. Okay, so what's your name? Amber. Tell us something interesting about yourself. I love drama. <laughs> okay, so what's your production about? Our production is about three hairdressers <laughs> who like have really um, like different personalities, but they get into like arguments and all that. Would you recommend it to anybody? Yeah, I would. And what would you hope to get out of it? Well, I hope to become an actress in the future. I don't know if that's real, but I'll try my best. I can tell that they're filming now, so in a minute I'm just going to say something and I want you to all pretend to laugh like it was the funniest thing you've ever seen. Not yet. Fluffy Bumpkins? Oh, good one. Oh, it's the way I tell them, I tell you that. Right, off you go then, guys, off you go. Hey! 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 Let's do a bit warm, shall we? Yeah? Should we do the old shake, shake, shake and thrust? Yeah. <laughs> I love how you know what I mean. You're like, oh, shake and thrust. You're like, yeah, exactly what you mean. A couple of years ago, we did a... Hello, Charles. Oh, this one, Charles. You alright? Yes. Okay, carry on. Is that still filming? Yeah. Yeah. This is my five seconds of fame. And... <laughs> What do you think there? Yeah. Sorry, I was just putting faces. <laughs> don't argue with bloopers, you know. I don't put them Look, he's got a halo. Oh, sorry. I can see your halo. <laughs> What's your name? No need to scream like that. Thank you. Sorry. Miss. Guys, we got ready. One minute. Can you believe that? She's obviously slept with him. I mean, come on. His will is out. <laughs> 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 um, tell us something interesting about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've taken over the camera. <laughs> oh my god, 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 god. What is your name? My name is Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so have you done anything like this before? Yes. No. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why do you Maddie, do why? It's because you're laughing. Do you know it's how no one cares anymore? There's a camera here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't film me, don't film me. No, we're all like, film me, yeah. film me.
Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Hello? 